All right, so shredding a sweet potato is not my idea of fun, but I know it's all gonna be worth it for this recipe for sweet potato egg cups. It gets a thumbs up from the Good For You Wellness Program from Schnooks, and Allison Primo, registered dietitian, is gonna show me how to do it in this video. I'm Allison, Schnooks registered dietitian, and we'll be putting together an easy breakfast meal that's good for you. It's our sweet potato egg cups. These are perfect for a weekend brunch, or you can make them ahead to have a nutritious breakfast all week long. So grab these ingredients and meet me in your kitchen. Today you'll need one large sweet potato that's grated, a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese, a teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of fresh thyme that's been roughly chopped, six large eggs, some nonstick cooking spray, and a pinch of salt and pepper. So the first thing we're going to do is take our sweet potato, and it's already grated up here for us, and add in a few simple ingredients. So we'll mix in our Parmesan cheese, our onion powder, and our chopped thyme. And just stir this mm -hmm. together so it's all mixed up. Once you get it combined, you'll want to grab a muffin tin and your nonstick cooking spray. And I'm just going to spray half because I've made enough for six egg cups. But you could easily double this recipe if you're cooking for a bigger group or if you want to have some extra in your refrigerator for the week. So take your sweet potato mix and you'll just split it into six cups. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just want to try to evenly distribute it. And it's okay if it's overfilling a little bit because we're going to press it down. So just use your fingers and you will press these down so they form little nests. The idea is one egg will fit into each one of these little cups. Once you get those all pushed down, we'll give it one more spray over the top. Now we're going to put these in the oven at 375 degrees and bake them for about 10 minutes or until they start to turn a golden brown. And then when we bring them out, we'll put the egg on top and put them back in to bake. Now that these are set, we can add the eggs on top. So we'll just need to crack one egg into each of our cups. Sprinkle a little pinch of salt and pepper and put them back in the oven. If you like a runnier egg, you don't have to cook them as long. Or if you like them a little more set, you can keep them in there a little bit longer. But I would recommend at least 10 minutes in the oven. Pinch of salt little pepper and they're ready to go back in. All right, our egg cups are ready. You can see they've bubbled up a little bit and are cooked just right. So what you can do is either take a fork or a knife and usually I just go right around the edges so it makes it easier to pull out. I know we use some cooking spray, but sometimes they can still stick a little. So this helps them come out in one piece. So just use like a butter knife or a plastic knife to go around the edges of the cup and either the knife to pull it out or you can get a fork or a spoon to help get these out. Breakfast is served. A good for you, healthy breakfast to last all week long. I'm just putting the finishing touches on these egg cups, a little thyme on top. I think this was definitely worth all the work of shredding the sweet potato. And don't forget to opt in to the Good For You Wellness Program.